Hello everyone, Sunly here and welcome to the first real video here on the second channel. This is where I'll be posting these kinds of farm update videos, live stream replays, and just all kinds of additional content if you are not aware. And in today's little video, we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of small fixes to the improved raid farm. Just a bunch of tiny little things that kind of crept through the cracks in the tutorial and uh, just are slight flaws with the design, so definitely watch through this video if you have built this raid farm in your worlds because you definitely want to modify it in the way that i show you in this video overall they're very very small fixes but they will help improve the rates of your farm and also you know prevent you from dying and stuff like that overall just make the quality of life of using this farm quite a bit better as well. Oh, and of course, make sure to subscribe to this second channel if you do want to see additional content that I post over here. There's actually gonna be quite a few videos over here every week, so maybe keep your eyes peeled for that stuff. Uh, the first thing that I would like to talk about, however, is actually getting the pillager captains to spawn. This is something that a lot of people have been having issues with, and I just kind of want to reinterpret everything that I said in the tutorial. So first of all, you have to find your own spawn spot. These are different for every single outpost. You got to use the glass panes like how I show in the tutorial. And also this little room that you build around the spawn spot has to be made out of glass. If you have solid blocks here, they are not going to spawn. So you have to make sure that that is glass. And also it might look really bright in here. That is be just because I have night vision on. Uh, this room needs to be completely pitch black for them to actually ever spawn. They need darkness to spawn, so make sure that you got that set up as well. If you're still not getting anything, make sure you are further than 24 blocks away from that spawn spot, then some of them will spawn. And also try setting your difficulty to peaceful and then back to hard mode or whatever other difficulty you play on, that way you actually get captains. If you're still not getting captains, just play on hard mode for a little bit, see if that helps you out. And otherwise, that's about all the fixes I can really offer for not getting captains to spawn. So the next biggest issue has to do with the Ravengers actually glitching through these glass blocks right here. I tested this farm for over 40 hours and never saw that happen a single time. Uh, but then as soon as I built this in survival mode on the Truly Bedrock server, first raid, it happened. And that's just kind of what you get with Bedrock Edition. So to prevent them actually clipping out, you need to AFK a block lower. So typically you would AFK right here, holding your looting sword to get all the drops and the experience. Just go ahead and remove these scaffoldings. You will now AFK right here to pick up all the experience. You also wanna go ahead and remove all of these boats and these leaves as well. Break those couple pieces of glass and replace them like that. You also wanna go ahead and replace these two pieces of glass. Actually, no, these need to be glass just like so. And then from here, we can go up with some solid blocks all the way up to the roof and that will prevent ravengers from glitching out and also prevent them from breaking our leaves as well so again you should have something similar to this this is again where you will be afking at your farm you want to go ahead and place a couple pieces of leaves there and there and then go ahead and put your boats back in place to catch all of your vexes now on the topic of vexes if you still do not feel comfortable or if you're still having issues with them you can put down some more boats if that helps you or you can simply put on some Thorns 3 armor. I would suggest just doing basic iron armor. That way, if you die and lose it, you're totally fine. You'll get a bunch of Thorns 3 books from using this farm anyway. And you can also go ahead and hold a totem in your offhand. That way, you know, you got a little bit extra health. But basically, by wearing the Thorns 3 armor, the Vexes won't really be able to kill you. At least one won't be able to because the Thorns will actually kill the Vex before they can kill you. So it's a thing you might want to invest in some iron armor. So moving up to the top of the farm, there's just a couple very small fixes up here. First of all, lightning. Lightning is a thing that you don't really think about when testing a farm. However, fire spreads is a issue. Of course, if your lightning strikes your leaves, you'll have some issues. So what you want to do is, of course, make sure all of your leaves are in place and then just cover them with a layer of a string. And also, if you're in a snowy biome, you don't necessarily need to worry about lightning. However, the string will also prevent snow layers from building up and of course, raids can spawn on the full snow block. It takes quite a while for it to snow that much. However, it is technically a flaw that you don't really think about. Weather isn't a thing that I'm thinking about when I'm designing farms, but I guess I should put that on my list of things to think about now, shouldn't I? 
So yeah, basically just go ahead and place a piece of string on top of every single one of these leaves and you'll be more or less good to go. And then that will prevent all fire from your lightning and also all uh, snow layers from your snowstorms as well. Another small thing that you want to do is build a little two by two platform right above your actual drop chute right here. And this is also for snow and lightning as well. This should be at the same exact layer as those things over there. So just go ahead and place that in place and of course put some string on top of it that will prevent the lightning from burning down your leaves and also prevent the lightning from striking the player as well. I've heard that some people have actually died from lightning when using this farm, which seems like a one in a million chance. But I guess the video does have like a million views, so I mean it works out, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, having this in place will also prevent snow layers from building up in your kill chamber as well and of course that could prevent some guys from dying from the trident killer so overall you'll definitely want to install that little 2x2 two two. and again that will prevent the lightning from actually burning down your leaves if it still burns down apparently put some string on the sides of it because you know what this game is weird and sometimes you just need extra precautions and honestly just to be safe I would recommend going ahead and putting another pillar of blocks just on these corners so basically just make the whole front of this thing four blocks wide I don't really trust Ravengers at all and you probably don't either so this is certainly for the best put some glass there as well and overall that is a pretty much perfectly refined raid farm I'm sure one or two small things might pop up here and there however for the most part should be a pretty flawless design uh, just you know tiny little things like that do slip through when testing even though Again, I tested like four for 40 hours. It was quite a bit of testing. Anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy the small little video. Thank you very much for watching. Of course, if you want to see more videos like this on the second channel, be sure to subscribe and share this around so that other people who have built this farm will know about these little fixes. And I'll see you guys again in the next one. Thanks for watching. And then there was silence.